fuck. Man, I gained 10 pounds eating the red and the green M&M, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I gained 10 pounds so quick with all that. I'll stop it up today. How you brothers been for the week, man? Oh, we've been, been good. We've been good. 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 Yeah. We can't, we can't ignore the ratings. I mean, this light skin thing is working for me. And I heard it. It's going. Where do we start? Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to Let's Chop It Up for the two, no, 2022 season, man. Yeah. I haven't seen my brother since last year, man. Everybody, thanks for rocking out. I hope everybody had a great New Year. Please follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell, tell a friend to tell a friend. It doesn't cost you anything to tell somebody about our show and to like some of our <clears> comments. <throat> and if you have any issues with us, make a comment. We always get back to you. So my brothers from another mother, man. I miss you guys, man. How you been? Derek, talk to miss me, bro. Back, my brother. Miss you back, my brother. Miss you back. <laughs> Listen, man. Um, just having a really good time with my family, man. Um, just good to have my family all together with my son. He, you know, my oldest was here. My all my kids was was were with me. Uh, to, you know, obviously to bring in Christmas and almost bringing New Year's. New Year's we had a nice um time as well. Um. And I'm just, you know, I'm just really blessed. I'm just bringing, I'm bringing in uh, a positive energy for this, for this year. Um, I'm wishing everybody health and abundance and, and, and happiness. And I'm really, and a lot of money. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just really good, man. You know, um, the only thing, only bad thing, I'm, the year is kind of off to a, a, a off note, a off note because I do have COVID in my home now. All right. Yeah. I have a family member who tested positive. So, um, so we're dealing with that and I think, you know, so we're getting that sorted out, you know, to see who has what and all of that, you know, so, um, we, you know, so we, we're taking care of our tests and we're taking care of ourselves and everything. I feel fine, but, um, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do your due diligence. So, um, but you know, other than that, man, everything's good, man. You know, um, just really happy to be here. Great way to kick it off the first, uh, uh, the, you know, the first show of the year. This is, the, you know, this, this is this is the highlight of my week and the highlight of the year so far. So let's go, fellas. What's happening? All right. So I'm um, here, yeah, man. So what's Rob? What's up with you, man? What's going on, man? Not much. First of all, can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can hear yes, you, Rob. Sir. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of technical difficulty, but as long as y'all can hear me, that's good. Um, I don't need those. Um, everything is good, man. I mean, I had a great Christmas. Happy New Year to you, brothers. Happy New Year to the audience, Year, everybody man. tuning in tonight. I definitely missed everybody, missed being on the show. Um, everything's pretty good. You know, I lost a family member um, last week. Um, so, you know, yeah, my grandma passed away. Um, but, uh, yeah, but lived a very long life, and um, we have some amazing memories of her. So uh, that, that, that's the sad part about my, uh, my week. But the highlight of my week was I, I got a massage. Happy ending? No, not that kind of. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, you got some, you got some regular. No. Nah, yeah, D is back. D is back. D is back. Yeah, D is back. D is back. <laughs> you, did you see how he perked up when he? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that, and that like a good, that like a good rub and tug. I'll tell you guys about my spot. I used to go to a long time ago. Long time ago. Long yeah, time ago. Yeah. Long time ago. <laughs> Last year. Last year. That's the park nah. 34th Street. Long time ago. <laughs> if anybody want to, just inbox me on Instagram. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> go ahead, Rodney. Oh, nah, it wasn't one of those type of things. But uh, yeah, very relaxing. I mean, she she rubbed the grits out of me, man. I mean, I had a, I had a I had a I had a great experience. It was very relaxing. I left out of there really shiny and, and greased up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, actually, I felt greased it in a pork chop. You know what I mean? When I was out there. But um, that was the highlight of my week. You know what I'm saying? I got to spend time with my family too. You know, for the holidays. You know, my son came home and everything. But um, other than that, everything else is great, guys. Kelvin, how are you, brother? You know, I got to tell you something. You guys will be disappointed in me. Started off the year wrong. Um, I doubt so it. So last year, I made a commitment, right? I said, I'm going to give up sweets and junk food. 
And so I was I was doing well. I hadn't had ice cream in a year. You know, I was like really going. Now, all the people that tell you, they's like, don't deny yourself. I don't know what happened yesterday. I went to the supermarket and acted a pure fool. I saw that haagen dash and went in. They had to flick the lights to get me to leave. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you well, when I tell you, I tore that ice cream down like a crackhead. Like, I, I mean, like a person just fell off the wagon. And I called my sponsor. I got to go to these meetings. But ice cream, and I mean, it's bad, brother. But I felt, I mean, I felt, I mean, it was just, I couldn't help it. The car drove itself to the supermarket. I yeah. just got in and just wound up there. So, I mean, I started off wrong, but because this supposed to be a year, I'm about to get fly. You know what I'm saying? This supposed to be a year, I'm about to get built up. But I started wrong. So there's nowhere to go up from here, you know. But uh, other than that, you know what it is. In New York, it is brick. We were 23 degrees two days ago. It's, it's no joke. So, and then I also made up a um a New Year's resolution. I'm not doing business with my people no more. That's the oh, other don't thing. Don't say that, man. Don't say that. Don't, don't give I'm me not, you know, I didn't want it. I didn't want it to come out like that. But I still love my people from a distance. You know what I'm saying? But yes, <laughs> I've, 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 I've I've had to learn. I had what, to learn. What made you I bought, like that? I bought many split units, and the heat works unless it's cold outside. So, <laughs> I bought, <laughs> so I bought that from my people, but I don't want to, I don't want to let the enemy use me at the beginning of 2022. Other than that, I'm good. D, I like that shirt, brother. What's going on with you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, I, I, I wish you to call me for the split units. I got somebody and he's not black, unfortunately, but they do good work. I played myself. I played yeah, myself. Call me. And, they, and they're probably cheaper <laughs> and they're probably more affordable than um, the other people you have. So, I'm yeah. sure. And now, they probably the work too. Yeah, they work. They work. They work. I, I, I literally just had to turn the heat off because I was sweating in there, and I had to turn it off. Yeah, I don't. I don't get to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, Derek, man. First of all, I hope everybody, your family, be okay, man. Y'all just gotta take some tussing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Put that Buckley's. That Buckley's buy everything. Or Buckley's is clear to your kids. If your black is tussing. <laughs> and if, if you're Puerto Rican, it's Vic. There you go. Yeah, that's true. Yo, they have the Vicks now. You don't have to put your finger. They got some shit like it rub now. Some, shit, yeah, some new yeah. shit they got. Oh, all right. I feel yeah, that. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But, now, my, 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 my time over was good, man. I had, a, I had the same thing. I had a little COVID scare, man. My big son, a.k.a. Chicken Wing, lied to me to come over his house. This guy bought me a Christmas gift. Didn't tell me. He said he lied to me to come to his house. First of all, he said, yo, come to my house for Christmas dinner. I said I was going to come. I kept saying I'm going to come. He thought I was gonna renege on him and not show up. So he told me that his car broke down. He needed a, a boost. I go over there. He doesn't need a boost. He gives me a Christmas gift, and then he said, "Yo, man, while you're here, I need you to uh, what you gonna call it to uh, to cut my turkey because he can't cut turkey." I said, "Yo, cut your own turkey." And he's like, "Yo," and he showed me and he hit the pan with the little arm and it just don't hold still. So, <laughs> hey, Sean. Me, hey, what up, Sean? What up, sister? <laughs> and, yeah. and, and then stupid ass jammies and the and the people that can't see is asking me did I lotion his arm? Wait, hold on. Jammy, I, I just went goddamn <laughs> hold on. So wait a minute. You saying chicken wing can't cut turkey wing? <laughs> no, he can't. He can't cut turkey. And then he tells me I'm going down south and I got to see elderly people and stuff like that. He calls me on the way when I'm going down south. Tell me like he tested positive for COVID and and everything. So, but it worked out for me. It's good. Nikisha, what up? What up? Everybody, well, shout out to everybody. Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah, yeah, happy Melvin, New Year. Word. Keisha, the rat, everybody, you know. Word up. What up, family? Everybody, <laughs> family. Word up. But, uh, but yeah, but so, but my big gonna give me a little scared, man. But he's uh, he's all right. He's doing well. I told him I told Chicken when you take some chicken noodle soup. And he's doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> but he's all right, man. But everything else is good, man. I can't complain, man. Life is great, man. Yo, I just got. I know it was that chocolate, Lisa. It was chocolate. It's my weakness. I'm sorry. Serious chocolate? All right. What's yeah. that, Ronnie? The thing is, um, I noticed something about chicken wing, and I don't know if this is going to be foul for me to say this, but oh, right. that means it's going to be foul. <laughs> no disrespect. No disrespect. <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> and he's not here to defend himself. But, you know, I noticed something about chicken wings good on What's that? You ever notice how cock diesel that one on him? <laughs> <laughs> I seen him not catch out with that one on. Yeah, he got a head all the load. He had a and dude the thing I remember the dude through a screen door that went on. The Man. thing is, yo, he's walking around like the Winter Soldier with that on. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that one arm is You're wrong for that. You're wrong for that. Is that wrong? 
You roll. <laughs> well, then, if it's, no disrespect, Chicken Wing. No disrespect. I'll, they'll let you come back on and defend yourself. If you feel like <laughs> Motherfucker like Steve Austin. Bionic man. That bionic arm he got can do everything except for cut lobster. I mean, break lobster, cut steak, and cut turkey. Right. Obviously. Yo, well, well, I, I didn't notice know that. that. That one arm is diesel. It is. I want y'all to know this. We would not start a year off without some foolishness. And I want to tell you, D, I'm tired of the foolishness. First of all, there's a new scam going on. The other day, somebody stole my niece's catalytic converter off a Honda Accord. Yeah, okay? Yeah. From the neighborhood. That's the new thing now. So everybody, please mm -hmm. beware that yeah. somebody is stealing uh, catalytic converters. And they're not mechanics. Yeah. And they don't have to put the car on the lift to do it. Yeah. Now, we don't know what race of people that's doing it. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I, just, I just say someone was able to move, uh, you know, un, unnoticed through Springfield Gardens, Queens. Could be anybody, you know. <laughs> so that is some foolishness that took my niece's catalytic converter. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> Cut it's it it's not just Honda, of course. They're taking off trucks, too. Well, you know what it is? The, the, yeah. the truck is easier because it's off the ground. The Honda, yeah. they say they take them because people always want Honda parts. And then they, yeah. they then the cops told her that people are doing it because they want to use it to smoke. They want to use it what? to smoke the carcinogens that's in the catalytic converter. I never heard that. That's what the cops said, Rod. That's what they told her. So that may be... So we got a new that's a new shit, man. That's new, new form of uh Oh, God don't uh -oh. like ugly. God don't like yeah, ugly. There you go, Calvin. Hey, the devil was using him. The devil was using him. <laughs> so he's still stuck. He's still yeah. stuck. All right, so yeah. oh man, so we are gonna move right along, man. We are gonna go to some. Uh, yeah, he's still stuck. He's still stuck. <laughs> so go on, man. So, Sam, we got some topics tonight, man. Let's talk about brother that just passed away from us, man. The star. From the Mac, Mac uh, Max Julian dies at the age of 88. Somebody asked me what he died yeah, from. Yeah. I said, I can't believe somebody asked me what he died from. I said he was 88. He was 88. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he died of being 88. 88, that's what killed him. 88, goddamn. But no, nah, this brother's good. Everybody never saw the Mac and Young Cats is watch this. This is where a lot of your rappers got a lot of their lines from from this guy right here, man. This movie right here. Um, yeah. shit, one of my favorite movies of all time in the, in the 70s uh, during the Black Exploitation time. You know, so yeah. can you count that? Well, can you that? count that? <laughs> there he is. There he is. He's back. He's back. Then they stole my Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> they trying to sell, it looked like they're trying to sell it back to you, a little fuzzy, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's safe to say now that we can retire the phrase job turkey now. Job turkey's yeah. gone? Yeah. <laughs> we, we can retire that. Definitely the job turkey uh, years right there. Yeah, oh, the movie right. Job Turkey is. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was a classic movie, man. I, 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 I have a damn DVD, but I have no place to play it on. The Mac. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't find it anywhere, right? It's not on Netflix or anything? I don't you know. You gotta find it. They used to have it on, it used to come on uh, YouTube back when, like, you know, it was a little bit more loose back in the day. You could find a lot of those old school movies mm. on YouTube. Still probably could, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, you, you get, I mean, a whole movie. You know, so um and plus they're supposed to be doing a reenactment of it at the Beacon Theater too. So mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, really <laughs> he's joking. He's no, joking. no, but listen, it's not so that's funny. the Beacon Theater. You might get it at the Beacon. <laughs> no, it's so funny you say that. They have New Jack City to play. Coming. That, thank I, you. I can, no, thank I just first opportunity thank you, to dude. say we will never get anywhere <laughs> as a people. And I mean that. I why, why not New Jack City? It's been about Damn near almost 30 years since it came out. I want to yeah. see him play Pookie. Tubi, Pluto <laughs> TV. Okay, so he's hey. telling us, what's up, Shaquan? What's going on, brother? Tubi and Pluto TV. That's where you can catch it. The Mac. Yep. Thank you, brother. Thank you. See, we, we, got, we got some of the smartest listeners, man. Absolutely. Got got those little gems, listeners. Man. And yeah. watchers. Got the most educated audience. Yeah, man. That was one of my favorite shows. One of my favorite movies, man. You know? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Um. I kind of think my favorite line from that, man. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> oh, no. go ahead, go ahead. oh, you know your bitch chose me. You know the game. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know the name of the game, Pretty Tony. Yeah. yeah. You know, your bitch chose me. It but it ain't super fly. It ain't super fly, though. Nah, I like the Mac more than super fly, man. <laughs> you always got to be different, D. Oh. Yeah, I do like the Mac. Super fly was cool, but it ain't, yeah, perm. <laughs> 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 yeah, perm. Oh, oh. 
Coke Jam sends it Amazon Prime, so cool. Good okay. Yeah, so. Amazon Prime still got it. All right. Yeah, that's check, yeah we got to preserve that. our history. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, those movies get some back to some, some some bread in their pocket, man. Got to give it to yeah. my man from um, um, Magnum P.I. was in that joint. He's the Max brother. Maybe he took the right man out the end. Mm. Yeah, that's why he like it. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, I saw that movie one time. I can't remember half of the stuff that's in. Serious? I always yeah, I'm dead that. serious. Wow. I might take a little bit of Rodney's black card. That's why he likes it. Nah. Know, one time we only watched it. My black time. card is my black card is solid, kid. It's uh super black. <laughs> well, I was trying to get rid of mine. Somebody stole it anyway, so it don't matter. That's what it is. You can't you can't take a person black card because they saw it once. You take it if they never saw it. That's true. Yeah, that's true. 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 I give you that. I give you that. Uh, let me see what we got here. Oh, yeah. But our brother, I guess he's our brother. It's kind of mixed bag. Cornell West and Nicole Hannah Jones, black intellectuals, take over Masterclass. And Jamie, I think we have a video to this. Can you play the video of this? We have some real problems in this country that are deep and structural that have to be confronted with the truth of who we are. I invite each and every one of you listen to these different voices. Have the courage to say, hmm, let me see what this wrestling with white supremacy and black love is all about. In this class, we are going to be focusing on a few powerful issues together. You will learn how slavery and anti-blackness is foundational to nearly every American institution in modern life, even if we refuse to see it. You may hear things that you find hard to believe. They are a testament to parts of our history that we've dismissed. The story that you can tell about this country, about it being a land of equality and opportunity, who gave America that? We gave America that. There has been this unbroken history of struggle for liberation for hundreds of years. Black people managed to create beauty in the very process of fighting structural racism. Black love is that thing that makes you believe in American democracy, even when American democracy hasn't believed in us. One of our jobs is to try to make there be as little racism as possible. A more important job is to see where the racism is and think about ways that we can get past it. Race is a fiction. Racism is real. What do we do with that? And it's only in having that understanding of what built the country that we're in that we can dismantle the parts of our country that don't live up to its highest ideals. I'm John McWhorter. I'm Sherilyn Eiffel. I'm Jelani Cobb. Nicole Hannah-Jones. Kimberly Williams Crenshaw. Cornell West. I'm Angela Davis, and this is Masterclass. <laughs> Interesting. It's a, I mean, I'm going to check it out. check it out. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm going to check it out. I'm going to so funny out. with Cornell West, but uh, I'm going to check it out. It you, go ahead. What, what school did Cornell West used to be a professor at? Was it Princeton? Princeton. Princeton, Princeton Harvard, and yeah. Yeah, Princeton and Harvard. Okay. Yeah. They, didn't he leave Princeton or Harvard or one of them because they wouldn't tenure him? It was Harvard, I believe he left. That's right. You're right. He did yeah. So the thing is, I, I kind of glad to see this. Like basically, now he's going out and he's one of the people that have gone out. Now they're going to teach. They're going to teach their own course. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to be governed by uh, institution or uh, um, university or whatever. So I, I like it. I'm definitely going to watch it. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. I can, I can, it's free, right, for everyone. That I don't know. I think. I mean. I can't remember. Coach, I know we got some free subscriptions. Good Shepherd is free. I remember she could, if she's still on. Let me know if it's free or not. But go ahead. You want to say something? Yeah, I, I remember, man, um, way back, you know, Brooklyn, um, the Slave Theater. You know, um, you, you would go there, man, and just listen to the people, you know, listen to the, I guess, just some of the most intelligent minds, you know, in the 90s to me. You know what I mean? Um, I, I remember being introduced to my to, to some men who would go on to become my actual professors, uh, Dr. James Smalls and Dr. Ben Scobie. And um, and 
you know, these guys would, I mean, and, 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 and Dr. Henry Clark, um, you know, just, just some incredible minds. I would love to see something like that happen just on, 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 um, you know, just out to the masses on the internet, just, you know, and, and I hope that this is kind of, you know what I mean? Something, something along those lines, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for it. And I definitely want to see, um, see where it's going. Yep. We should, we should be able to access. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, absolutely. Yeah, right up my alley. So, um, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this. I'm, I'm going to find out more about it. And, um, and, 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 and what's amazing about it is, you know, in this, in this age of, of like we have information is just so readily available now, you know what I mean? Like you could just literally just go on and just, you can just get any other kind. It's like it's almost like information. It's almost like a war, like a like like a fire hose coming at you. So you need some people like that who can kind of just filter some of that down and just take the relevant parts, man, and just hit people with pinpoint accuracy and also have that credibility to make people kind of listen and take it in too. So I'm really looking forward to it, man. I hope some of the younger people get into it as well. So so I'm waiting to get more about it. I'm going to definitely share it on my timeline, my social media, and, and promote it. And I, I I'm just excited about it. So yeah. that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah and, and it's and it's taking over like the platform of um of masterclass. A lot of black folks is taking over like you know a lot of uh, other stuff on there. It was a system. It's one eighty a year. What you mean, one hundred eighty dollars a year? Is that think, what that is? Yeah, but they get access to a whole bunch of different things, man. A whole bunch I certainly hope so. It's downloadable. <laughs> <laughs> one hundred eighty dollars. We paid for that one, though, baby. We paid for that one. Make sure no, we get one hundred eighty dollars. I want. I want Malcolm X to pretty much come to the living room. <laughs> I am Malcolm X. Hey, I feel you on that, but I, I, I'm going to tell you, in this case, they got to get, please don't stream that for free. Get Pay them their money, man. Mm. Get, make sure they yeah. get their money. I'm You're sorry. right. I mean, you see all these master classes on social media now. Mm-hmm. People people are selling tons of information now. You know, you see it all on YouTube. You see, you know, on um, so, on um, Instagram stuff like that. Information is the new goal. Information yeah. is the new goal. So the thing is, you're right. Let's let's sell some history. Bring bring people. Or it's fifteen dollars a month. Fifteen dollars a month. Okay, yeah. so yeah. I want to I want to make an amendment and apology for something I said earlier. I'm not going to do business with some of my people. So <laughs> the subscription is one hundred eighty dollars. Or you could pay fifteen dollars a month. You could right. You could pay monthly, or you could pay something. Like ah, that. So Lisa, so you know what Lisa said right there. Malcolm's hologram, yeah. right here. Yeah. <laughs> no, I want. No, for hundred eight dollars, I want the real one to sit there. <laughs> the real one. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but, but I'm, I'm happy to see this, man. I'm really happy to see this, and it, uh, I know people. A lot of people have been controversy. Like, what's the difference? I mean, is it going to be the same? Because you don't get the same feels. You it's like Cornell was teaching at a university. You don't get the back and forth and all kind of stuff like that, and, um, you know the, the response from the from your, your, your students and stuff like that. But I think it's, it's great. You're right. I'm not sure if you can email the people and they can probably respond later on or whatever. But it's, it, information is is the new gold, man. But if you could take a class in any subject for 180 dollars, that's a deal. I mean, you yeah. everybody here been to school. Y'all know yeah. what, what a credit costs. No, I'm just I joking. Mean, I'm just joking. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give them the hundred. I'm gonna give them 180. Well, look, we're going to start off with, with I want to hear some Red Bull talk and I want to hear, you know, some catalytic converter talk. We, can't, we ain't going to just skate over that, too. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the, nah, the, the, thing, the thing with them, with the master class, I don't think they're, they're, they're limited. They're not governed because I think with universities you teach and your curriculum has to be kind of somewhat approved. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Correct. People have to, you know, they got to look over it, make sure it's okay. So I'm sure it's, there's probably been times that Professors like Cornell West have had parts of their curriculum taken out and they yeah. couldn't do anything about it because they work for the university. Yeah. You know? I had a professor like that. What he would do is his um, African civilization. And once he find out there was no white people in the class, my man closed the door. So well, now I'm going to tell you I'm real. <laughs> 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 oh man but no this is great because you got so many brilliant minds on one platform i mean when you yeah. like you don't just have cornell west teaching you monday wednesday and thursday whatever the day the college you got angela davis you got you know you got the sister that's that wrote the 1619 project you know it, it, that's what's so dope about that you got so many brilliant minds and on you know, one platform like you said credits in school now my um the guy one of my guys i work with at yes one of the well, he's former producer he sent his kid to nyu and it's seventy five thousand dollars a year yeah True, man. Listen, D, D, if, if you remember, Oprah started doing something on um, 
I think she started interviewing some people on her show when she started the own network. And um, I thought Masterclass was something that she offered as well on her show. It used to be an interview. I remember she did Jay-Z. She did a couple of people on Masterclass. But I was thinking about the show. Um, and if you remember this, this was several years ago, probably 2008 or nine. Oprah, uh, when she started the own network, she gave everybody an opportunity if you wanted to go out there and compete to get your own show on Oprah's network. Any of you guys remember that? No. Yeah, so so that was kind of launch for own, and you were gonna get your own show. A regular person could get their own show. So I went out to the audition. So it was in Linden, New Jersey. That's as close as it was to the tri-state area. I go out to to Jersey, right? So we get that. to was was that? I do remember that. Yeah. Now. I yeah. So so what happened was we we get out there. We're gonna go the night before. Now you're supposed to start at seven in the morning. We're gonna go to a friend of mine. She and I go out there the night before, right? And the producers are in the parking lot, like nobody can camp out. Oprah's not allowing anybody to camp out. You got to come back in the morning, seven o'clock. So we go find a, a hotel. Like, look, we're going to go at like four or five in the morning. Right. By the time we got there, 10,000 people in that parking lot. OK, 10,000 people trying to get their own show. So they tell everybody, like, look. We're going to interview 15 people at a time. The guy was like, you have 30 seconds to make your pitch and sit down. And it was hilarious. First woman, she get up, black woman. She's like, first of all, Oprah is a sister girl. She need, and he's like, next, right? <laughs> so, shut her down, right? I get up, make my pitch. And the dude's like, you knocked it out the park. Knocked it out the park. He gets up there, friend of mine that went with me. She finishes. He's like, how do you think you did? It was weird because he didn't ask anybody else how you think you did. Anyway, I was like, listen, thank you for participating. If you get a call from us, that means you're going to the next round. If you don't, then thank you for coming out. That night, I go home. I get a call from the Oprah Network. Like, uh, you're advanced to the second round. Come tomorrow to Secaucus, New Jersey for on-screen appearance. Now, this is where I made a mistake. That night, I'm overthinking it. I changed the whole name and concept of my show and then changed the caucus the next day. I get there, the person who had the camera on me said, if I were making the decision, I would pick you. But I didn't get past that round and that was it. And consequently, I don't think anybody else got the show. I never heard of anybody getting the show, but that was my experience with the own network. So I would be there right now and not here, but I, that happened for a reason. <laughs> so I could be here. This is what it all lined up for. So yeah. now I gotta oh, I, that's a major story. <laughs> I gotta ask for the audience, Kelvin, what was your show? I wanted to do a show called Peer Pressure, and it was gonna be the concept was uh, the reverse, where you could take somebody successful, merge them with somebody that wasn't, and have them pull them up instead of operating in the opposite way. So I wanted peer pressure where you can take somebody that's doing something and then put them against a person that has given up and see if you can resuscitate the person that was the weak leg. Okay. And then but I changed it to something that didn't work. You you know what I you know what I recommend you should have did? What's that? You should have brought fireworks with you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that would have got their attention. That would have got their doing. attention, Kelvin. <laughs> you should have brought fireworks, man. No fireworks trick. Does it every time. Does it every time. It works on you, right? Yeah, you know. Oh, man. Yeah. Think it don't. Yeah. Think it don't. Well, go ahead, D. I know you got it. You yeah, it man. Too. Now, uh, support for Black Lives Matter movement is declining, according to a new poll. So a poll came out and it's saying that white people and a few other people, I guess, are not caring about Black Lives Matter. I think it's four fell to 47%. Oh, I lost my page where I had my data at. It will fail. It's going to support. I think also, what do you think it is? I think it is because there's nothing going on really right now that was driving with race right now that could bring that kind of attention. And everybody's trying to go back to their regular lives, how we were back in 2019. And I think that's what kind of lost the matter. But there's nothing on the news driving that right now. I don't think they talk about insurrection. I, I think there's a little more to it. I think it's, first of all, I don't think the messaging went out to everybody. I think people need to understand. And you kind of can delineate between the two. You can care about Black people and not be a part of Black Lives Matter. I think there were two different things. I not much about Black Lives Matter. I, I never had much about the organization. 
and they all like roped everybody in. But I care about black people being shot unarmed. You know, so I think what they did was they merged the two. So I, I don't think people, in other words, I would be upset if they say, well, people don't care about black lives. You can care about black lives and not know much about the Black Lives Matter movement. I don't I don't think they're synonymous. You know what I mean? That's the difference. If you if you get what I'm saying, in other words, I don't know who runs Black Lives Matter. I don't know. I understand they changed leadership at one point. Some people thought they were raising money and people didn't know where the money was going. So some people not don't really know. I don't I don't ever remember somebody just coming out. I remember the signs. I remember marching saying hands up, don't shoot. But I don't actually I, I wasn't actually a part of the, the, the inner workings of the movement. So I don't really know. I, I think that they, I think what they say, I don't know if it's about the inner workings of the movement of the people, but I think it's just in the movement in general. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I'm, I don't give a damn about that lady that they saying about that. I think about the word, the, 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 act the, phrase. Of saying, the phrase of Black Lives Matter. I think people. Are right. Right. But you can care about that phrase and not be a part of that organization. Yeah. But I think people are not caring about the phrase anymore. I think it's like, oh, you know, I don't think that, I don't think this is saying that. If if it is, then that would be terrible. I don't think this is saying that. I thought that when I read it, it was saying that people are not invested. But some people were indifferent to it. There's some people that said I think 11 percent said they need the support, yeah. or or you know what I'm saying, or or rejected. They don't they don't know, you know. So people don't know. It's almost like what's happening. The messaging, you can care about the issue and not be a part of the organization. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Right. You know, I'm not I'm not part of the National Heart Association, but I think people should be healthy too. So I was like, <laughs> you know, so that 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 was my thought. Yeah, you right. yeah, yeah. I think that what happened was the messaging became the organization, became uh, centralized, right. and then at that point, centralized, organized, and at that point, sold off, spun off, you know, um, and whatever, commercialized, and um, you know, saturated in the media, and then. And then people, as anything, uh, as any fad goes, you know, people lost interest, you know, I'm, and, and I don't think we as people might have lost interest, but there's a, you know, a crowd, you know, of a different hue who, um, you know, they, you know, it's that, that was the end thing then. And I think that, you know, they moved on to other things, you know, um, and I do think that the organization got got sold something like that somewhere along the line. There was some something that happened. I, I, something got sold off somewhere. So um, that kind of lets you know that um, you know I, I, I think it just I think it just got commercialized and, and, and the message and it got and an organization just kind of got tangled up with with the slogan and and as a result you know as one went so did the other I think so you know I think that's where we're at with it right now but um, like with any fad you know it comes and it goes and now those we who are still affected by it of course we're still interested but you know now you have to find a way to keep the interest of others you know. But I think we're still I'm, we're, well, I'm still interested in the subject. I just don't know. Like, the, do you become a, a card carrying member of this? Can you pay to get in it? Do you make donations? If you do, what does the money do? Where does it go? Yeah. I don't think that was ever explained to anybody. All I wow. knew was there they was were, there they, was they were raising money. They were raising money. Like people were right. Where, where does that go? Yeah. Around you. Good question. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, I'm I kind of like agree with all three y'all to everybody's point. Like I see like. What D said, I thought was a, a good point too. Like nothing's going on right now. And let's face the facts, mostly with Black Lives Matter, the movement is police um, brutality or injustice against black people, right? So I think the biggest thing that sparked Black Lives Matter was the George Floyd movement, right? So that was people watching a man literally die under the knee of a white police officer. So I think that there's nothing, well, I wanna hope that there will never be nothing that will ever top something like that, us seeing something like that as far as being horrible. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I think, like, if there's nothing going on with a major incident with the police, then Black Lives Matter doesn't get that much publicity. You know what I mean? For me, for them to continue to stay really relevant, they have to tackle other issues other than police brutality. You know what I'm saying? They have to talk about things that's going on in the Black community, that need to be fixed, things that we need to fix amongst ourselves. They need to publicize that too, instead of just, I don't know if they're waiting for another incident to happen, but it, that's what it seems, What how the, how the fire has died down in my eye. You know what I mean? Now, now, the people that met with Eric Adams, D, who are they regarding this movement? 
Yeah, another segment of it, I think, right? I, don't, I forgot the name of the brother name, man. They, 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 the ignorant dude. I'm not, I say ignorant. Right. So I don't he, even know. Not, 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 not professional. It wasn't professional. Like that. You just said it, the segment. It was yeah, segment. right. That's yes, what I'm saying. Yes. So in other words, I don't know if they, they, you know, is it an East Coast version? Is it a Midwestern version? Like, I don't know. Then I don't think that was ever. All I know is Black Lives Do Matter. I don't know what the organization is about. Yeah. Other than what, what Derek said about that messaging. So that's the I thing. Think, I think that group was the Mother Gaston Boulevard of Brownsville. Mm. <laughs> Chapter. <laughs> like people, if people ask you, are you part of the Black Lives Matter movement? Are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Said it, 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 New York Chapter leaders. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a um Willie Bobo of the New York Chapter. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like I can't say I, I can't say I'm a part of Black Lives Matter movement if I can't articulate what this organization is. He says, uh, Tim says, says it, it seems the fire died because there were no next steps. Plus, a lot of corporations stopped the messaging. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, they, I mean, you know, it ran its it ran its it ran its course, you know, in the in in in, in the um, you know, casual uh consciousness of people, I guess. You know See, I mean? and this is what Derek, this what bothers me. When the guys met with Eric Adams, and 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 I've seen one of the guys do interviews. He's like, if they, you know, institute some of these uh, '90s practices that they did in New York, then there's gonna be looting. Then there's gonna be rioting. I don't yeah. like any adults leading young people Correct. into into the fray of something like that right. with no direction. I don't like that. I don't like putting young people in harm's way, and I don't like you dispatching or or sending young people out to do something, especially something illegal. Or something that's gonna get them locked up yeah. or shot or hurt. I don't like that. And, and they won't sure. and they won't do it themselves. You don't you don't sit down with the man in New York, especially the second black man in New York, and then make a threat like that if he implements a plain clothes unit. The bottom line is he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Like you don't have that much power to stop him from doing that. So the thing right. is, you need to sit down with him and get an understanding of how you and him and the police can work together so people right. don't get hurt. Right. Not going there making threats about how you're going to ride and burn the city down, which is going to get mostly black people hurt and arrested. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, so no, no, we're going to move on to the next thing, man. This this phone I love so much. I just can't believe it's gone. It was one of my favorite phones of all time. Uh, it was called the BlackBerry. It's no longer around. This thing here was the first jump off cell phone ever. You could jump in the girls. I don't know what it was called. DMs. What was it called? The BlackBerry message. What's the side you could jump in? I never had it. Uh, no, nah, you can set up your little side. Set up your little side chicks. You get your little girly, your girls see your little naked videos. Ah, I miss that shit, bro. So this is what you're gonna miss about it. Let's scroll it. What is twenty twenty two scroll at? Emails. Fuck the emails. Fuck the emails. This is what I love BlackBerry for. And the feds can track you on the BlackBerry. That's what the European. That's what they used to riot in Europe. Like BlackBerry was, un, was untraceable. Well, I can't say on Twitter, but it was hard to trade. I'm mad that you know that, D. I miss the BlackBerry. <laughs> I, I think the I think the BlackBerry um basically didn't look at the future, and that's something that Rodney used to always talk about. You got to know the next level. You got to know what's right. coming. You got to know the wave, right. and they didn't see it coming. And I mean, they was number one for a minute, and they stayed in that same space. And now, R.I.P. BlackBerry. Yeah, yeah you know? it was it was geared towards a certain group of people. And like I said, they didn't change with the times, just like next to with that chirp. I love that chirp though, Rod. No, I love that chirp. That chirp was trash. It was, was annoying. It was annoying. But yo, you could talk on that joint for free. Yep. Anywhere. Anywhere. If love if, love if you shirt. could get through. If you can get through. First of all, you well, no, no, chirp, right. but you couldn't get the phone call. No, the walkie talkie no, 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 you couldn't. Right, right. And it was too fat. Yeah, it, yeah, it was. It'd be sticking out your pocket. It was crazy. It looked ridiculous. I, I know. I, I, I had one. I did have one. For I had the clip on. <laughs> he had the clip on. Like a beeper. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought it was trash. Most of ninety percent of the phone calls didn't come in. You could chirp somebody, but you it was hard to get a phone call. Yeah, and when I used to call people on it, it goes straight to voicemail. You got to yeah. admit though, the cell phone has come a long way as far as reception. Absolutely, it has. one time. You just have to move everywhere. It's kind of like my my Wi Fi now. You ain't you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till you see what's coming with cell phones. Oh, they got man. they got Tesla. Tesla's getting ready to make cell phones. That's a wow. Probably yeah. move or something. 
Yeah. Tesla and yeah. Amazon and them, boy, I'll tell you. But it, yeah, I, hope Tesla, phone Tesla, I hope Tesla try because a lot of companies try to come out and they fail with trying to make the cell phone. You thought Google's going to be the shit? Nobody bought no goddamn Google phone. That's what you the trash. I remember now, them taking on I mean, Obama's I, phone. I get it. I get it. And I agree that Google shouldn't have came out with no freaking phone. But the thing <laughs> no. is, Tesla is more of a brand. I mean, it's yeah. more of a status symbol. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Owning a Tesla yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, People, you got, you got, you got um millennials. Their whole goal now is to own a Tesla. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So to get a Tesla phone and a Tesla car, and I'm pretty sure that phone is going to be able to do some amazing things with that car. Yeah, yeah it's probably going to sync up. It's going to be dope. It's going to be. You probably gonna be, gonna hopefully, be able, hopefully be dope. You know what I feel? I don't know this. I'm not spreading any rumors, but I feel that they, you're going to be able to hit your phone and make the car come to you and pick you up. It's going to be I'll some Jetsons. Jets, 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 Jets. Yeah, you got it. Talk, you know, the car will talk to you soon, man. Why? Yeah. Does a Tesla have a catalytic converter in it? Because if it does, <laughs> I doubt it. You can't it to. It's electric. It's electric. But listen, motherfuckers don't start stealing Tesla parts because them, them batteries is like fifteen thousand on a Tesla. Yeah. yeah. So, so you get dead. So them shits could be. They ain't gonna be the next hot shit starting to be stolen. They gotta get. Right. They gotta steal a whole lift of the car, though, man. That thing's rock yeah. ride the whole lift. Yeah, they, yeah they it's, a, it's, a big, it's a big piece. It's well, they're doing their research now, Derek. They they want to make sure that they know the, the next wave of thieves. They want to make sure that they, you know, they, they remember Tesla them. parts. Tesla don't they don't sell parts. The ones that Tesla's crash is over. Yeah. yeah. The um, I think the hood is going to be stealing your electricity from your Tesla with an extension cord. That's what everyone's talking about. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me go. Let's go. Let me move on. Oh man, this guy, this RB singer, Jason Derulo, fights two guys who allege mistaken him for Usher. Jamie, can you play this the video? Oh, and this video is courtesy of TMZ. Hey, Don't touch my boy! Oh, yeah, can I go first? Oh, Ron, Ronnie, the mic is yours. Well, first of all, Jason Derulo just made somebody very rich. That's number one. No, they didn't sue. It, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. They dropped the charges. They didn't want to press charges. Well, he well he may be cutting the check. He may be cutting a check on um on the low on the low. Yeah, but Jason Jason Derulo could have made this stop instantly when they they called him Usher, right? Yeah, he should have said, "I'm not Usher. My dance moves nah. are not nearly as good as Usher's." <laughs> and that would have separated him right there. He should have said, "Yo, I don't, I don't dance nearly as good as Usher." See, uh, see. I think it was the bitch I, afterward that did it, man. <laughs> that's what exactly. Yeah, exactly. I agree with that. You, you were not convincing me. You are not convincing me that <laughs> Jason Derulo is not cutting a check to these guys. Because if Jason Derulo hit me, he's cutting a check. I'm telling oh, you now. Yeah. I'm screaming like a girl on the floor. Well, yeah. I'm a, <laughs> I'm <saying this. laughs> they need to do a better job of security. If you got 15 people trying to keep him from some, hitting somebody, and he still get to him, and he caught him clean too. Yeah. That that right that right landed. Yeah, you think you That's think this combination. shit was you think this shit was set up? To the words. <laughs> Probably it's, it looked like it. It, it looked, looked kind of like it looked a little, it looked a little <laughs> sus. Nah, I think it, it looked, looked real. Serious. It looked real to me. It looked real. I think he lost his cool. He didn't want to be usher. Because you got people out there that's that legit. You know how they are. They're looking for clout. They said they got. I think yeah. I think he may have a point with I this one. It, it just looks a little, a little too. too it's no charges. I mean, he could have got gave him a bag. He could have gave him a bag. And I'll be bag honest with you, the table. But some t- that's a different day. You better be careful who you run up on today. Like all this looking at somebody and thinking it's a good look. You never know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like does somebody catch you wrong, you are gonna walk over. <laughs> What's on? Please, somebody help me out. What's on the map? Only thing I know he dated Jordan Spark. That's the only thing I know about Jason Derulo. Really. Jason Derulo, Jordan Spark. Please give me a song, somebody. Somebody know what it is. Lisa, I know Lisa, a yeah, musical genius over there. Somebody help me out. Shauna, where you at? <laughs> or, I don't know the dude. These newfangled kids. Now he's he's, he's huge like on he's huge on TikTok and all that too. Well, I said, man, everybody's too happy. 
Absolutely. That's what I'm saying, Juan. That's what I think the fake, the fake, I think that's it's a fake we, fight, man. That's that's America, man. I'm yeah. telling you, it doesn't mean that he didn't do something under the table. The yeah, table you know, you know, All you, you gotta do is get a check, you sign an NDA, and guess what? It's over. Yeah, you're right. Now you're, now, now you're right. Now you got some instant little uh, press, you know. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it right. looks like it looks like he got away with it. Everything is good, and he goes on with his career. But I doubt very much that those guys didn't seize that opportunity to get a check. Oh, of course, of yeah. course. Or well, they could have got a check before that, and it's a fake fight. <laughs> the backstories were they were heckling him a few times. Oh, so Shauna says the backstories they were heckling him a few times. He let them slide the first time. All right. I gotta give Sean the credit. She be on it, boy. She's on it. Sean the feds. Sean the feds. You know what I'm telling you right now? She's the black. She's the feds. She's the feds. She's the black feds, huh? You find like that, son. God damn. All right, let me see. All right, here we go. Dan Patrick, Texas Lieutenant Governor, tested positive for COVID after blaming unvaxxed blacks for spreading the news, spreading this. So, any thoughts on this guy? Not Dan Patrick from ESPN. Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick still facing backlash after blaming a surge in COVID-19 cases on Democrats and unvaccinated black Texans. Here's his comment from Fox News last night. The, the COVID is spreading, particularly uh, most of the numbers are with the unvaccinated, and the Democrats like to blame Republicans on that. Well, the biggest group in most states are African Americans who have not been vaccinated. And the last time I checked, over 90% of them vote for Democrats in their major cities and major counties. So it's up to the Democrats to get, just as it's up to Republicans, to try to get as many people vaccinated. But we respect the fact that if people don't want the vaccination, we're not going to force it on them. That's their individual right. Thoughts to anybody on uh, Dan Patrick. So what, 10 to 12% of the population is the problem why he got COVID, right? Yeah, that's what he's claiming. Wow. Oh, yeah. He didn't get it from nobody black because racist people don't be around black people. So he definitely <laughs> from black. Fucking good point there, yeah. bro. That is a fucking good point. But yeah. I'll say this, in, in, in all fairness... Fuck whether black people have been getting the vaccination or not, black people have been masked up, though. Except black for the South, brother. Wear... Not down South. I just came black back. Black people not wearing masks in the South? Town South is 19, 2018. Them motherfuckers are backwards of motherfuckers. They up there. Look at Atlanta. They smoke hook and, and drink shit off of stripper cities. <laughs> no mask on. D, how do we arrive at this point either way, If we, no matter what we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Atlanta, how, did, how did we land in the strip club, dude? How did man, we land in the strip club? Man? I'm just saying. I missed the strip club. I ain't been in a minute. God damn it. Shout out to all the strip clubs. Y'all miss, miss my money? Wow. Yeah. Derek, is Derek froze or he in deep thought? I think Derek is froze. No, I'm froze. He's froze. Okay, I'm about to say, because it's usually me, so I never know. Y'all got some bad luck Wi-Fi going on tonight, brother. Wow. But it's all right. Derek, can you hear us? I can hear you, but... but, but... That's still fly, though, Derek. I like that. I can hear yeah, you. thinking, brother. That's right. Yeah, that's man, cool. Yeah. I'm joining you next, Derek. Don't worry. You know <laughs> hey, I'm back. Back. Looks like I'm back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Back. Can you hear me? Oh, oh man. Yeah, a little, de little delayed, but you're back. But, but yeah, Rodney, yeah, Rodney's right. Rodney got a point. They not around no black folks, so so. No, that's you got that, shit, you got that shit from your own people this time. Yeah, that's him being a racist <laughs> ass, and the more, more, more white people in Texas ain't vaccinated, so he he's full of shit. He's full of shit. Texas been open the whole time. Old time. <laughs> the whole time. Old time. The whole time. The, the, the fucking cows got COVID down there. <laughs> <laughs> the bulls, the cows, yeah. chickens. Oh, shit. But we're going to talk about another sick person in the head. Antonio Brown, mid-game meltdown. I hope people saw this. Cost him much more than his spot with the Buccaneers. Uh, got a, damn, we got a rap song by Antonio Brown. Are we playing this rap song? I see something in white. Are we playing the rap song, Jamie? Curtis of CBS Sports or no? We're not playing it? No, hell no, he said. Okay. Hell God no. damn. Okay. He said, hell no. But Antonio Brown, I mean, I never seen nothing like this. I'm up in the middle of a game. Just walk off the field. The people in the city he took off his you know, not just took off his equipment, he took off his shirt and paraded out the stadium and thoughts to on this guy, Antonio Brown. Anybody, Rodney, let me just get the mic first this time. Um, I did see the incident, right? I got, I got, I got two perspectives on this situation, right? Um, I think I discussed one of them with Kelvin. Um, Antonio Brown, I think, has definitely a problem, 
I think maybe he may have some brain damage from football. It's a possibility. But let's not forget that Antonio Brown has been on how many teams since he's been problematic and showing his this, this irrational behavior? Steelers, the Raiders. New Fort England. And in New England, four teams. Right? Four teams, right? Yeah. So you're telling me that Antonio Brown is passing the physical with no problem. As long as he can catch touchdowns and he can run really fast, he can play. Antonio Brown has, is the is is displaying behavior of somebody that has maybe some brain damage. So, mm -hmm. but like I said, teams keep picking them up. So, can't just place the blame only on Antonio Brown. Yeah, he's, yeah, because he has above skill set, above yeah. average, way above average skill he's set. A, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> Antonio Brown, if not now, or was at one time the fastest guy in the league, if I'm not right. mistaken. Right, yeah. Yeah, you I know, think he was number one receiver once. And number one receiver. I mean, the guy... He could catch a football in a blackout. That's how nice he is. Yeah. So the thing is, that's what teams want. They don't care about his problems. They figure they will be able to control it and deal with it, or they put a babysitter on him or whatever. But Tony Brown's been doing this for a while, and I yeah. think he may have some. He may have some issues. Yeah, and I don't want no pro black pages coming out saying, "Oh, some other shit." Some other no, it's something wrong no. mentally. He There's something only, mentally wrong with this in this he was case. Only, he was only 85 yards away and three catches, I think. And he had one more, he had this game and one more game to get that bonus check. So, mm -hmm. and you don't think Tom Brady, the GOAT, will not throw to him to win games? Yeah. Like, it was no, I don't know what could happen that made him go besides, he just said, fuck it. And then, next I, think, I think Sean is talking about that hit he yeah. took when he was with the Steelers. Yeah, I think yeah, he got knocked yeah, out. Yeah, I think yeah, he took yeah, a yeah, bad, yeah, a bad yeah, hit. Mental, yeah. 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 Okay. What anybody says he, yeah, she's 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 agreeing with you with that with that he took that hit, you know, um, and that yeah. and that scrambling scrambled his mind, man. Scrambles great matter, you know. It, it is it is real. His behavior is of someone that definitely has some he has I some problems. So. <laughs> you ever you ever saw the video with Antonio Brown out there with the police and his baby mom? Yes, in Florida. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen situations like that before. <laughs> that behavior, that behavior is of somebody that has a mental illness. Yeah. No question. Yeah. No question. And and I'll I'll take the I'll take it very very seriously because you know what I ordinarily would have said and I'm not gonna say that because it's not appropriate for that moment, um, but I think everybody knows one of my thoughts with this. Uh, but I'll say honestly, um, I agree with Rodney. They have looked the other way too long, and yeah. and I think what you what you have to do. Th there are certain people they're agitated. I think the difference between reality and fantasy is mm -hmm. perception. If you've ever been around somebody with mental illness, you can't use rationale with it. You can't yeah. use rationale. He literally, like he said, walked away from a million dollars, literally took his shirt off in an opposing uh, stadium and just started waving to the crowd and took the shirt. Nobody knows what set him off. You know, and I, I think he's played his last down in the NFL and he should have played his last down in the NFL. This well, should be it. Oh, apparently, what 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 happened was uh, they wanted him to go back into the game, and he felt like his ankle or uh, something he was still injured, and he didn't want to go back in the game. So then they said, "Well, if you don't want to go in the game, you know, you can get up out of here." That kind of thing, and um, and they let and and, and and the rest is history. You know, he just took it where 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 it went. You know, so um, in the red it says it's, it's that old under I believe that dates back to slavery. African Americans can take more physical trauma than others. Exactly, you know. Yeah, you know, and we see that just you know, just in life with yeah. our with our family members, you know, I, and I, our children. So. Yeah, I don't think what that is like his ankle, but then he jumps up and down, does like up and down on his ankle. Right. I, it, it's 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 fucking confusing to me. Like, all right, yeah. if my ankle is bad, I'm not, yeah, I'm not he's exactly right. That's what I'm saying. Like that, that, that shit don't right. make sense to me on that yeah. part of, on, on on that part, and then I. I I don't know. Shauna said the best. One thing no, I think Shauna said, mind. you can't, until he's dead, they can't, they, well, mental illness. Yeah, yeah, CTA yeah, can't, 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 can't do CTA yeah, yeah. detected until he's dead. So basically, yeah. she's saying that it has to be detected in the autopsy yeah. know, on the brain. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not very knowledgeable with that, but, you know, D, you did say she's a fed, so she probably does. <laughs> <laughs> no. Shauna does her research, man. Shout out, shout out to Granny Liz, a, a, a grandma. I hope she's feeling better, man. Shout out to Shana. But I'll say this, it is tragic, though. But you know something? In Shauna's defense, she may have a point there because um, 
what's the kid Aaron? Um, what's my junior? Say y'all got his brain done. I know yeah, that. after he was dead. Um, yeah. What's the Aaron, what's the guy that did the murder? Aaron Hernandez. 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 Oh. Yes. Aaron Hernandez. They didn't detect that he had CTE too until he was yeah. dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they, yeah. As well, they, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. he shot himself in the chest so they could scan to work on his brain. That's what he, that's how he killed him. He shot himself in the chest so they could look at yeah. his brain. Yeah. yeah. So I'm pretty much safe. For my I, life see, I told you. Look, look what's happening. I've worked for the feds for twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> What you want to say, Rodney, man? No, nah, I'm just saying I'm glad that you can't find out until you're dead because now my wife won't find out to use it as an excuse. So, you know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to your wife, man. Shout out to her, man. Where we at now? Where we at now? Oh, my God. I, this one sounds crazy, this story here. A woman who made 37000 a week selling farts, <laughs> hospitalized, but trying to fart too much. The hell? The, the, the fuck? This is the whitest shit I heard yet. But they are never, on. they are never gonna get anywhere as a people <laughs> either. I just want to say that to be fair. That story just made me laugh. I mean, it just made me laugh because I didn't think there was any more lunacy that could be presented. And it is, and it's hilarious. And I watched her video and it's ridiculous. And in for the 97, the 97 idiots that went there and paid her for that. Should be locked up. Yo, so, so she's a reality TV star. Right. Wait, oh, so she's she, hospitalized for farting too much. Right. So what she does is her procedure is she eats stuff to make her gassy. Then she takes a jar, puts a couple of flower petals in it because she thinks that preserves the <laughs> that preserves the fragrance, for lack of a better term, the aroma longer, and then she goes to work. And she literally writes a handwritten note to thank the people that buy it. So some knucklehead, pervert, or idiot, or both, go and pay this woman for 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 her to pass gas in a jar. And I always so, want to know what happens if you get it and it's not in there. Then what? You get your money back? <laughs> you got to keep the receipt. So she 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 doesn't play football, right? So she might have CTE too. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm thinking, I'm thinking that she's in the hospital for forcing out farts. And she is. Oh, so she pushed her inner butthole out. She she went too far. She was trying to meet <laughs> supply and demand. That's it. You know, you can't, you can't man. You, you know with this little mushroom, mushroom coming out from behind. She, she needed to hire other people to help. Nobody would have known. It's only, no, it's only so much push. fart you have in you. She didn't want to cut, she didn't want to split the profits, so she can keep it all herself. She's gonna <laughs> 37,000 a week. I'm just thinking about this mushroom booty hole, man. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, Listen, I've, been, Eric, I've Eric, been wasting all these farts all my life. Right. <laughs> right. You, wait for me, brother. you give me a quarter eggnog right now, I make I can make 50,000. <laughs> nah, nah, if you if you give me a a uh a pint of Briar's ice cream. I tell you right now, I changed oh. the game. <laughs> Give me a ten case of White Castle hamburgers, extra onions. Ooh, and you are the friend. Nah, you might Ooh. hurt yourself, bro. You be in the hospital behind that. You legit will be in the hospital behind Ooh. that. Oh man, well, listen, I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go one more. Go. Go, go, go ahead. Give me a Mr. Softies vanilla milkshake, and I'll rip the I'll rip the pine <laughs> top off the freaking back <laughs> um, right. off the street. Well, well, it says Sips go to Sips. She was just capitalizing. Yo, he ain't lying about that shit. But listen, yeah. Erica Badu was selling her pussy. I mean, that's something. I mean, selling. I mean, selling uh, a, a fragrance of a pussy on the incense. I got sell. Come on, the man. I mean, I misspoke, miss man. I misspoke. I meant to say she was selling the, the incense. Y'all know she was selling that pussy juice. Roll it. Y'all know it. Yeah, First incense. one of twenty twenty two, D. Congratulations, bro. This was a mi I misspoke, man. I misspoke. <laughs> Trying to go the whole year while getting the thing. That was that's what don't count. You need and the word that you changed was added in one show. You couldn't even go one show. I misspoke. I meant to say the incense, the smell, the light. I misspoke. I misspoke. I'm, I'm buying an Erica Badu shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh. <laughs> oh, and then the other, they got some women that sell it bath water. They got that. As my uh, man Juan, as my man Juan said, there's some simple sense. Yeah. Word up. Yeah. <laughs> Word up. I, I don't get it. She was, and it sold out instantly. 
Thank you, Shauna. My sister always comes through for me. The feds. Shauna. Yeah. Sold out instantly. <laughs> up. I'm buying some Erica Badu. And you know what? Maybe oh, I'm candle, just right right I don't want anything that comes out of somebody's body for a keepsake. Because <laughs> I feel like this. If your body has rejected it, so do I. I mean, I think that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you remember you remember when Mayweather fought the dude that was drinking his own urine? Yeah, um, what's the guy's name? Latino dude, oh, Mexican dude. I forgot the guy. There's a few guys that used to do that. Yeah, Idiot. Yo, no, no, I'm not gonna lie. In baseball, some of the cats pee on their hands, bro. I ain't gonna that's lie. A whole, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, different. Yeah. But these dudes is drinking urine. They keep well, the electrolytes inside of them. Yeah. There was a UFC mm -hmm. fight that was drinking his urine. Mm -hmm. He said the minerals from the urine would help him, like, yeah, recoup back. The There's dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, no, life. that's a whole thing. It, yeah. it, okay, any one of you guys was in the military? No. Nah. Is it? Well, maybe I heard. Somebody told me it's true that they used to pee on their feet to get rid of athlete's foot. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's kind of some sort of weird disinfected. Uh, they used to use urine for um pink eye. Yeah, baby urine. Remember that? I remember that shit. Yep. Y'all remember that? I remember oh, that shit. Oh, I remember that. Oh, you never heard that? <laughs> no, I remember that shit. I remember yep. that shit. You just baby, didn't look urine. Like baby urine to cure pink eye. No doubt. You, you, we need to do a show on it. All that or, down south really stuff. Yeah. Oh, remember when wow. Delfina sold her bath water? She caused three divorces. <laughs> Yo, man. man that okay, said, man. we got. Yo, Tim said he heard it too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man. Look at that. Yeah. See everybody. Look, we got some weird friends. We all, all, all our freaky ass friends watching. I right. never heard that in my life. <laughs> Yeah man, yep. yeah man, yeah man, yeah man. Welcome to Getology, brother. Well, I'm, wow. we got we got time for a commercial break. I'm about to go on Amazon order this Erica Badu candle. I want to know the essence of her, her nature. Oh no, maybe maybe <laughs> Tim is maybe Tim is confirming that you pee on your feet because he's military, right? Yeah, he is military. We're gonna go back, Tim. We're gonna go back to the top of the, after the commercial break. Tim, tell oh, us. We got a lot of urine Tim, on tell, us tonight. Tell us you peed on your feet, man. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, take us to commercial. Man. <laughs> Orchard Blue Counseling Services, or known as OBS, is a private mental health practice based in Southeast Queens, New York. OBS's founder and holistic psychotherapist, Serene Prince, is a Queens native with Caribbean roots. Serene is committed to providing culturally competent holistic psychotherapy to diverse communities while curating a safe healing space for black and brown people with compassion and awareness of their total being. As experts in children and teens, we have curated a mental health and wellness community where children are heard, guided in developing a healthy self-esteem, supported in strengthening their inherited resilience, and learn skills to manage their emotions to develop positive relationships with parents, adults, and their peers. Orchard Blue Counseling Services is designed to help children and adults discover their inner healer as we take the journey with our clients to work towards self-acceptance, self-love, and resilience to manage life's uncertainties and embrace its wonders. Our private practice extends providing consultant services for personal life transitions and business development, parenting guidance and support, and clinical supervision for mental health students and therapists. And be sure to book our founder, Serene Prince, as your next holistic speaker, offering your audience a life-changing experience. Now that you have taken the first step to learning about us, we invite you to walk towards a healing and progressive life with Orchard Blue Counseling Services. Contact us for your free consultation where applicable. Email or call us at info at orchardbluecounseling.com or area code 516-200. One one seven four. You can also connect with us at our website and social media pages, orchardbluecounseling.com, or on Instagram 
at Orchard Blue underscore counseling SBCS or Facebook at Orchard Blue Counseling. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's chop it up. Please follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Like and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Doesn't cost you nothing to share our page, man. So help us out, and we always get back to the comments. So, all right, where we at, man? I was really disappointed. This is some sad news for me. My favorite show, Insecure, is going off the air for five years, but it was one of the most revolutionary shows of our generation, of this generation, and it did what the show did for a lot of people with the culture, also hiring people, giving people their first starts. Um, I love the way it ended. It ended without black trauma, which was good. So, any thoughts, brothers, on what Insecure has meant to the, the new generation uh, to the, and add on to the culture? Anybody? It's a great It's a great show that I enjoy with my wife. She got me into it. Um, I, um, I didn't get to see the season finale, but um, some of the things that I did like about it was I, I felt it was incredibly um, well written. I felt like it was um, relevant. I just felt like it was charming, like I relate relatable. Um, you know, obviously, I remember those days. They were a little bit younger than me, you know, um, but I can definitely, but, you know, remember not long ago uh, with those a lot of those same concerns, you know, that were, that were, that were dealt with in, in the show. And, and like you said, man, she really, and which I had no idea, but makes sense that she really, uh, really looked out for a lot of people and brought a lot of people up, you know, with her. You know, she was originally a YouTuber, you know, and I remember that about her, uh, about Issa. And um, and just to see what was possible um, from, let's say, her growth, her personal growth from YouTube all the way to what she eventually became, um, I think that alone is just inspirational. And, um, and I definitely see it as one of the most relevant um, shows, certainly from a cultural standpoint, um, you know, that I've ever seen. Because that age group, let's say 29 to 35, that's a very pivotal age. You know what I mean? That's like, you know, you're in the middle. That's like mid-level career. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you finished, um, you finished your, your, your you, probably, if you, you probably finished your, your advanced education, your high school, obviously, you know, probably did your college. You're, 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 you're making your bones in the, in the world. And now, you know, you've, you've got some experience and you're looking to see what the rest of work, the life is going to be about. Mm -hmm. And that's when you really start to make those mistakes, you know, and you start to get grounded a little bit. You know, I know when I was 28, 29, um, I just began to start to look at the world a little different. You know, I just got a little bit serious about things, you know, started thinking more about my, you know, uh, what I wanted out of life, my, my relationship-wise, children, family, you know. So, um, and I, I saw all of that. Um, I saw all of that reflected in her show, you know, and and in in a positive way. We just haven't had a lot of that that imagery, um, as a people, you know. Um, and, and it's and, you know, and, and and for sisters, I think it was really amazing, you know. Um, just to see how she put on, how she how she put people on. Yeah, but yeah, yeah it was amazing. Uh, I, I had to see the ending. It ended beautifully. The characters were very honest. Hey, it was a very honest show. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. That's what I got from it. So um, I'm going to definitely get caught up. You know, my wife got ahead of me a little bit with it. You know, we were watching it together, and then uh, you know, I get distracted, and she kind of went on ahead. So I got to get caught up. But um, but um, beautiful show though, man. And I, I was really surprised at how much I really got into it. You know. So I've heard a lot about it. I've never actually. I think I've seen it once or twice. Someone yeah. showed me. What it is, I can't make the commitment to a lot of shows. I just don't have the time to commit to them. That's the problem. But I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've heard you guys talk about it, and I've heard other people. And I know it was a big hit amongst a lot of uh, black women that I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I haven't caught up with it either. I mean, I watched the first two seasons um, religiously, and then I didn't get back into it until I think we had to watch it for um, the one uh, a topic that uh, D was bringing up. So we watched it for that, but. I always thought that the writing on it was pretty amazing. You know what I'm saying? And it definitely touched on real life things that uh, people in that age group are definitely dealing with. But um, yeah. I, I, I give this, I give the system a hats off. She's definitely doing a thing. She's definitely yeah. doing a thing. Yeah. You, yeah. you know something that's interesting when, and I can just speak for myself. When I was a kid, we used to go to the movies and watch stuff that was fantasy. 
Now people like to watch reality. And it seems so different. Like, in other words, people enjoy watching stuff that is relatable mm. and things that they experience. To me, part of entertainment yeah. used to be escapism. Mm. You know, that's why some people used to like sci-fi or whatever, because it was something that just couldn't happen or something you couldn't fathom. Now, what in reality shows or people about relationships and stuff, people love to see some things that they can relate to. So I think... I think the world has changed. I think people's appetite for entertainment has changed. No, I, think we, I, I, I think we're looking for answers all the time. Yeah, yeah people, I, I think people are looking for answers a lot more. I, I, yeah. I, yeah, I don't even think it's that deep. I think I think we've always been that way. Um, I think it's the television version of the blues, you know. So you know what you know what we love about blues was you know was the relatability of the blues. You know what I mean? Um, you know that pain and everything, that reality, the things that are going on. People gravitated towards that. And I think it's just the television version of that right now, you know, to see yourself uh, reflected in a character mm -hmm. and maybe gaining some sort of some sense of, um, I don't know, you know, um, like, hey, maybe I'm all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or maybe, I, you know, so something like that. Shawna says, uh, our writers, directors, producers, drivers. What, what is she saying? I missed the yeah, she, she, yeah she, she, she employed a lot of people. Oh, a lot yeah. Of so yeah, young people let people direct shows, I, I was, um, different shows that didn't have director credits before. She gave a lot of people a lot of oh, drive. Okay. Um, she gave a brother that wanted to get in there. I think driving. It's it's like the after the last episode, you got to watch it like the show and it, it, it give a lot of insight of how the show was. And a lot of people, the, she developed characters on the yeah. show that people like. We never the guy that played Lawrence. He's now he's on. I seen him a couple of movies. He was in like, Escape the Room and those other stuff. So he gave mm -hmm. a lot of people a lot of shine. And the sisters, yeah. um, Molly that plays Molly, she's a comedian. I saw it mm -hmm. open up for um, when I was at the guard, I saw it open for Chris Rock. And then, mm -hmm. now, you know, now she has her own, she had her own HBO special and stuff like that. So, thanks a lot, Juan. Shout by out, the way. Shout, yeah, shout, <laughs> oh, word. shout out to Juan. Word, thanks, Juan. I, love word. <laughs> I just had to pride. I, I can't, word, I can't word, watch word, those word. shows. All of my favorite shows are from YouTube, starting with you guys. Thank you, Yo, shout out to Juan. <laughs> Peace to my brother. Peace to the brother, Juan. Yeah, word. Oh, word. Juan. Shout out. Juan. And we also got an interview, Shauna, I have to say. Yeah, that's my girl, man. Shauna's the most interesting woman in the world. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I think I think shows like that are, are really good because I think today's youth and like uh, millennials, like those shows are like the navigation for life. Yeah. You know, and it helps them get through because a lot of the topics they touch on, a lot of people are actually going through it at That's the right. time that they see it. You know That's what right. I mean? That's so, right. like I said, we got Navi in the car. She's basically Navi on TV. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You like that, right, Kelly? I like that, brother. Hey, <laughs> they, they can't catch up with it. It's too, it's too deep for them. See, it was too deep. That shit went over some people's head, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But, um, what you want to call I hope, I want to say, I'm, I'm glad that we see more of ourselves on camera. I just want them to have a black man show that could deal with topics like this. I know, Rob, before you said it won't sell, but I don't want to see yeah. no more like uh, no, and I, none of them corny, coon ass black yeah. show, men show. That's a real topic. And nothing on BT. Please, goddamn. Don't tell yeah. me about no Tyler Perry bullshit. No, the, thing, the thing is, I would like to see a show mm -hmm. like that, but I do agree that it won't sell. Like men will not sit down and watch it. I don't mm -hmm. think they will. You know, we have we have ego issues, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right. And men don't want to show vulnerability oh, yeah. and stuff like that. So that's why that show is not going to sell. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you know what's interesting? Ain't no network going to pick it up. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to shoot it in the foot. Why? No, why no, do you well, think we don't start want on to vulnerability. No, I think. No, first of all, I agree with you. I agree. I just wonder why. No, I just said because I think that. Okay, if you look at all the most successful shows, who is the prime audience? Female. Right. right? Okay. Now, if you have a, if you have a show like that. I think females, some females will watch it, but if it's too deep about us and make us look too weak, then I don't think they're gonna watch it too much. And I, I think that's know. the problem with us. We we are we are pigeonholed. That's why I think when it comes to men, especially black men, that's the that's the big issue right there. So yeah. we have to keep up this facade. Correct. And, you you, you know what I'm saying? Facade. And so we can't show the vulnerability in the male ego is very fragile. It, it's very, huge. It's very huge. fragile. And so we can't do it. So as a result, then it's like, okay. We have to be out here running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Like I told you, if they make it too soft, then men are going to condemn it. They're going to be like, no, man, these dudes is always crying and always doing this and they hugging each other and they kissing. You know? Nah, I don't think it has to be like that dramatic, but 
it, Issa Rae, Lord Sean said, Issa Rae did start off on YouTube. That's yeah. what we, I think a black show could start. That's what she got picked up. It was called Insecure Black Girl. If anybody want to check oh, out. Yeah, awkward Black Girl. Awkward Black Girl. Awkward yeah. Black Girl. Sorry. Awkward Black Girl. If you want to check out her early works. I think we could write a show and it don't have to be like too simpy or too like soft, but it got to talk about some of the issues we go through. Like some of the shit we discuss here. I imagine we have characters that could play all of us out. You got a, you got a fly pimp. What, what did you think? <laughs> what did you think of the show Soul Food based on the movie? The I, show I, I, I love Soul Food, but that was but that was that was I love the show. I did enjoy the show back then. I gotta I have to rewatch it now. Maybe I'm like I might not see it in the same lens, but at the time I did love the show. I love about the black family. And I the thought family. it was kind of real. I thought there was an element of reality to it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's basically show Big Mama's house, which is reality. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. And then the other thing is too. Networks don't want to pick up black shows showing black families in a positive light either. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, right. and then the thing is, you got to realize they stripped our family structure for a reason to make us weak. They were, yeah. we're, we're, we're stronger together. So, if they broke us up as families, yeah. we're not as strong. Yeah, now, like that, family, now you're going somewhere deep. We need to bring back. We need to bring back Big Mama so she could be the head of the household again. We don't have no more Big Mamas. Yeah, yeah, but we've always been thirsty for our own images, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and we are, and it's been proven, we are the most loyal consumers of media um, of all people, you know what I mean? Not just so, media. Um, yeah, well, you know, media, <laughs> internet, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, yeah, you're right, you know, even even brand, you know, brand, uh, brand names, anything, you know, we're the most loyal, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Um, So, you know, and that's why what happens, you know, uh, when Fox came out, you know, they started off, they, they looked for shows, that um you know that we were interested in and they, we basically what doesn't get said is you know how we, we built their fox. We, brought, we, built, we built fox we built yeah the network in the beginning and then once they got it you know now we spin and they ran away yeah yeah exactly but you show. think about yeah you, you had uh yeah the uh wayne and brothers thing um what's the name um uh, uh, and liver color yeah. you had mm -hmm. all that you had yeah had Arsenio uh, hall was on there it was he on channel nine was Arsenio hall fox <laughs> No, he's not. Well, he's cool. he's he's big Mama is thirty now. Yeah. Big Mama is thirty now. Big Mama is thirty now. Yeah, but Big That's Mama is thirty now. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, big yeah. Yeah. Big, big Mama got a yeah. Big no. Mama got a for, for only fans page now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Yo, Big <laughs> <laughs> Big Mama, Big Mama's in Dr. Getting an ass done now. Yeah, she getting ass shots. <laughs> it's a damn shame. Sad state of affairs, man. Sad state of affairs. Right. We've always been hungry for our own images, though. You know what I mean, and they know that. So, um, to see her do what she's doing is yeah. um, amazing. I, we got, maybe we, we, maybe we need to break the show for the black man show. I'm with it. Yeah, I'm with it, man. Like we could, we could come up with something, man. Like you know, got to be something, <laughs> man. I'm just, I, I don't want to see no more Eddie and whatever that motherfucker. None of them. Don't make them simple ass shows, please. Don't play them coon, coon ass dudes. I don't want to see nobody. Yo, you don't want to see homeboys in outer space. None of that corny <laughs> shit. I can never, I never, yo, I can't rock with that kind of, I never watch one episode of that corny coon shit. I can't fuck with it, man. I, I just can't do it. I just oh, don't do it, man. I can't do coon shit, man. But anyhow, man. But, um, Kelvin, man, I mean, you were talking about, um, this Dave Chappelle thing. We were talking about behind the scenes and, um, uh, recently what happened with Dave Chappelle and his friend that supported him. Can you tell people what was going on? Yeah, so, him? so I was article about, uh, and, and I, it, his name is Kate. The guy played Spence on King of Queens. He's also a stand up. Shana and on help New us out, Shauna. Shauna help us out. Help <laughs> <laughs> on New Year's Eve, <laughs> he did a show where he was on the bill with Dave Chappelle. And um, unbeknownst, Dave Chappelle brought him out on, on stage with him at one point. And such backlash from uh, some of his fans like, because they wanted him to disassociate himself with Dave Chappelle, which several are doing now, I guess in light of everything with the transgender uh, um, comments that Dave Chappelle made in his last special. And so he literally sat down and wrote a handwritten note that he online explaining that he doesn't agree with Dave Chappelle's position on transgender. And um, he, the picture because he was working with a fellow comedian. And not only that, he said he's Dave Chappelle since they were 15 years old. And, um, I just thought it was a bad look. I, I, you know, if, if somebody count, you know, cancels a person that I care about and I don't disagree with that person did or said, and I, I respect their right to have their opinion, I am not going to kind of uh, disavow taking a picture with them or something like that. Either I'm not going to take a picture with them 
or if I do, everybody gonna have to live with it, and that's just it. And I just thought it looked very, very weak as a friend to actually do that. You know, if it's if it's a friend, I think I stand with him now. His career is not where Dave Chappelle is, and his bank account is not where Dave Chappelle is. But I thought it looked very weak. I thought it looked very bad. If anybody disliked the position that either you gentlemen took. I would still go over your house and I would still do the show with you and I would still take pictures with you and I would still be friends with you. So if somebody said, I don't like Rodney because I don't like his position, well, I'm not well. going to, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to sit up there and try to avoid Rodney and be like, I'm, I'm on the show with Rodney, but I look at different, look at it differently. That's, you know, I'm not going to do that. And I thought it was very weak. Sean, the kid, she said, Patton Oswald. That's his name. Yes. Patton yes. Oswald. And he looked just like his name sound. <laughs> <laughs> Kelvin. Kelvin, I'm going to co-sign what you said. Um, I think there's, there's a term that I have for that. It's called what, to me, the way you described it, I interpret it as he pulled a parachute. Mm -hmm. what, he, what he's doing is he's, first of all, if Dave Chappelle is your man, <laughs> he puts you on, he lets you do a show because the exposure that you're going to get from doing a Dave Chappelle show is tremendous, right? right. You had a problem with Dave Chappelle and you shouldn't have took his off. You should have said, nah, exactly. I'm going to rock with that. But at the same time, he's trying to appease another audience at the same time so he can stay neutral. He's pulling a parachute to save right. his self. So in a right. way, if I was Dave Chappelle, I wouldn't fuck with him no more. Right. Because to me, that's not a friend. Like you I said, agree. that's not a friend. Because the thing is, you're not going to go out there and you know, after Dave Chappelle holds you down, whatever, he's supposed to be your man. And then you go out there and you try to do that middle thing and spit in the middle. No, that's not cool. I would, if I was Dave Chappelle, I said, that's not my man. I'm not, I'm not messing with him. I absolutely agree. I couldn't agree more. I, I just thought it looked very, very weak. And that's I mean, not, he literally was. what he should have said was Dave Chappelle's my man. He has a right to his opinion. And basically I didn't, you know, I didn't, I don't, um, I'm not condemning him, but the thing is he's my friend. And as far as I'm concerned, he's good with me and that's it. I'd have left it like that. I wouldn't have said, but okay, but I don't agree with he said this. Now, okay, don't get me wrong. If if me and you was tight, Kelvin, and you said something severely heinous, like really fucked up, then you know we gotta talk about it amongst me and you. But we're not of course, it out. Of course. Yeah, we're not of course. That's, of course. What, that's what friends do. You don't put it out. That's yeah, and I, I'm just saying, and I agree with Shauna on that. You know, I mean, yeah. realistically, in other words, Dave Chappelle's set is his set. What he yeah. does on stage is what right. he does. I mean, if I'm in a movie with somebody, I'm gonna be like, oh, I was in the movie, but I ain't, you know, we're not tight. I mean, at the end of the day, every person is responsible for their own actions. Dave Chappelle didn't do anything illegal. Dave Chappelle just talked about his art form, and that's it. And I, I still maintain freedom of speech, period. That's that's the reality. I maintain it. And as long as you, I, my father used to tell me, you can say whatever you want, as long as it's the truth. If, it, if it's the truth, I'm going to say it. And that's just the bottom line. If you don't like it, that's it. You know yeah. what I mean? But I'm not going to sit up there and avoid taking a picture with you, but then we're going to be on the phone talking like we cool. Nah, that I'm not going to have it. Yeah. I wouldn't look bad to take a picture with the man and then write an apology note for people who didn't like it. That's the you man. don't like Dave Chappelle? Don't look at the picture. Yeah. That's it. He's a friend of mine for twenty since I was 15 years old. So he yeah. said something on a special, you know, a year ago that you don't like, then so be it. Don't watch the special. That's all. Don't watch the special and don't support them then if you don't like yeah. it. It's right. like people who go to jail, like, you know, you don't, like, I still support my friends that went to jail for stuff. For stuff. <laughs> like, you know, it, you, I'm not going to unfriend them. Like, you know, like, okay, you sold drugs. Okay, you still my boy. Like, you know, but you got to, right. you know, I'm not going to say, nah, I can't fuck with them all. He's fucking killing society. Like, that dang me. That I'm your boy. I'm your boy. Right. Like, that's, that's right. Right. I mean, I mean, I do believe there is a line to a certain degree. I mean, we're not. I know this is going to sound extreme. Right. You, know, you can't support your boy like raping kids or some shit. Like no, that. no, hell no, I ain't doing that. Shit. No, that's what I'm saying. There is a line there. We you can't yeah, say yeah. there's only there's so much you can go with something like that. But right. I'm saying in this typical situation, no, he should be riding with Dave. That's that's just my opinion. Yeah, but these LGBTQ Dave came out talking some cracking jokes on black folks and shit. These motherfuckers ain't saying shit. Yeah, right. They're not saying nothing. Like, and what I'm saying is, you can, still be, upset. you can still be neutral on the subject, which is basically saying, when I'm on the stage, what I'm saying is what I feel. What Dave right. Chappelle say is what he feels. Right. That's it. Don't associate the two. But I'm not going to stop being friends with him because you don't like his jokes. Yeah, so that's the bottom line. And if you think you're going to pressure me into disavowing somebody 
because you don't like his jokes, then I'm not doing that either. But you know what I'm saying? Kelvin, you realize what they're doing is is that just like you said, they're pressuring, they're seeing how far they can pressure people to disassociate themselves from Dave Chappelle. Right. And the way you stop that is to shut it down and say, go fuck yourself. I'm not yeah. doing it. You know what I'm saying? And that's that, it. But well, that's or, what don't, or, like or, don't, or don't respond to them. It was all over yeah. Twitter. I don't, don't respond, respond to them. Like, don't give them no. You, if you don't say nothing, you give them nothing to get. Get that's it. They can say what the fuck they want. All right, cool. You said that. That's no, but the thing is, if you if you do say in the position that I think his friend was in, if he said go fuck yourself, he would have got more press, and he would have been probably a bigger star. Mm -hmm. He could have capitalized see, on the moment. A lot of comedians the, are fighting the, against this. Me, uh, this shutdown. The, the what, moment what called the cancel culture. A lot of right. The moment you shit. capitulate. The moment you capitulate, they're gonna control your career. Yeah. Right. So right. what if they, what if they like the, let's say they don't like somebody in your family? Well, I don't want you around your mother. Well, then what? Yeah, you're, yeah, gonna, yeah. you're gonna you're gonna control what I right. do. You're not gonna do that. Because if you're a fan of mine, I don't need you as a fan. That's it. Because you're not gonna dictate to me how I practice my art, and you're not gonna choose my friends. I'm grown. Yeah. By him <laughs> writing that letter, by him writing that letter, he gave them power. I, 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 to me, if I'm I'm like you, Rodney, if I'm Chappelle, that's it. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, well, I, you, yeah you ain't got to write the letter, dude. We done. <laughs> right. That's it. That's why I respected Jay Z bringing him out to present him at the Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll sure. Hall of Fame. Sure. Say, so, yep. And Dave would have taken him on tour with him, talking yeah. about uh, Pat and Oswald. Yeah, but you know, but he, he can't he can't go. But did yeah. you listen, the tour's, now the tour's over. <clears throat> he would have went on tour, but now the tour got to end. He still got to be the same, well, the same people. You know, Let, let's let's think about it for a minute. Look at the power of Dave Chappelle right now, right? Now let's let's use me and D as an example, right? Say I'm on a level of Dave Chappelle, and he holds me down, and then all of a sudden they blackball him. Guess what? I'm still taking him with me. He's still gonna be good because yep. I have the power. I have the audience. I don't right. have to. I don't have to cow -tow to them. I say right. no. He's still going on tour with me. And he's gonna get his money with me. We don't have to worry right. about. It. Yeah, and, you right. know, that, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I just, I'm just. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, D. I think it's very, very hypocritical of of the transgender community to start doing to people what you said people were doing to you. You literally are trying to tell people how they should perceive things, and now you're bullying people in reverse. And there's no right. other way around it. You right. literally, you're literally going to cancel somebody who is associated with somebody else. You got to be kidding me. Mm -hmm. That's it. So what's next? So uh, you you gonna knock because of what I believe, because of my religion, because of my faith, because of what else is next? Yeah. Like like literally, you you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. I tell people all the time. There are certain things that I am never going to agree with, and that doesn't mean I want harm to come to any community. I'm saying you can't market certain things to me because I am not with it. That's just the bottom line. But you you can't knock me because I'm like I don't look at it the same way. I will say this to the cows come home. I don't care what you identify with. If you are a grown man, you should not be in a bathroom publicly with a child, period. Like you shouldn't be of the opposite sex. You shouldn't be like, I'm 40 years old. I feel like I'm a woman inside so I can be in a bathroom with 15 year old girls. I will never agree with that. To me, whatever equipment you came here with, I believe that's the bathroom you should use. Now that's just my perspective. Now, if you don't like that, then you don't like that. Then we could agree to disagree. But if you feel like, yo, I'm not trying to hurt you. Now you got to email somebody that's hurting me. I'm not with it. And that's just it. Tim says, Kelvin, you yeah. call them on their bullshit. Yeah. Like and, well, and, I'm, and, I'm separating from Kelvin right now because I want to get more checks. <laughs> 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 Fuck what he said. No, give, we, me a ra give me a rainbow check, goddamn. <laughs> yeah, and, and good checks too, boy. And, and we can't, we can't forget. We are talking about a comedian that's telling jokes. Here. It's jokes. It's jokes. Can't take a joke. Get out the fucking kitchen. Yeah, they no, they still want to go to comedy clubs though. Everybody still want to go to comedy clubs. Just as and, long as you and, say and, up and, there what I want you to say. And here go the thing, Dave Chappelle. I don't care what they do. He got a whole big audience that fuck with what he thinks, what he believes, and what he's saying. So he don't give a fuck. Whatever them. The letter people say it has never gonna stop him. It's never. Yeah. He would have to go out there and kill, uh, uh, kill somebody. And they really making him a sympathetic him. figure. Actually, some people yeah. gonna ride with him just because they trying to stop him. Yeah. yeah. But you see what Dave Chappelle's doing. He's setting himself up where he's gonna have his own place to perform. Nobody can come in unless he lets him come in. 
He's going to control his own game. You know what I'm saying? So, Monique. What up, Mo? Kevin get a lot of love tonight. Kevin, you get a lot of love. That's what they Rod, when he do this comeback, he gonna sit there and let it settle for about two years. Then they gonna be dying for Chappelle to come back. He gonna yeah. come back and kill him in about two and a half years. Mm -hmm. That's what it's gonna be. Yep. And, I, and I'm gonna be very happy for the brother too. Yeah, no yeah. question. I go see yeah. him. I will go see him, man. Um, what else if we can afford it. <laughs> if we can afford it, because I'm sure them numbers are gonna be pretty high when he's yeah. You he said yesterday's yeah. price, price, price. price. <laughs> yeah, because at the work, I think my man went to go see him at the garden, and I think price, the cheapest yesterday. ticket he was with at the top was 140. I think, I think, it's about like, I think like yeah, it's 140, something like that. But I paid more than that. I, I think it was more than that. Maybe more than that. I may be wrong. I'm not paying like about 40 for nosebleeds, no way, even no, though all you got here. <laughs> I, paid, I paid like hundred and sixty dollars when he was at Radio City Music Hall when he what did his comeback tour. How long were you at the Beacon? And I was on the I was on the um upper level, not in the back, but towards the front of the upper level. Rod heard the every, joke. Every, every Rod heard the joke thirty seconds house. later. By the time I got the Rod, the <laughs> <laughs> yo, I was up there. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> I can't hear him. What he say? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit, that's hilarious, man. Hilarious shit, man. All right, some more funny shit. Not funny shit, but some more line of, some of the line of lines. Airbnb limits the use of travels. Uh, Airbnb, oh, yeah, right. Anti-racism. I'm reading this wrong. Airbnb limits the use of travels names as and yeah, they won't put the names on anymore. That's what that's what the story is, right? They yeah, they, they, what they're gonna do is they're just going to give you uh the person's initial initially, and you'll get their last name later because what's happening is uh <laughs> people are discriminating by virtue of um the name. So if your name has a Q in it, they're not written to you. <laughs> your name, <laughs> yeah. your no, name is sorry, Quan God. anything, Daquan, Rayquan, Saquon. You're not getting the Airbnb there, so I'm laughing at a comment in the chat. Oh, shit. Shit. I don't think it came. <laughs> oh, you have to sell yeah. part of the <laughs> Yo, shout out to the Keisha. That's hilarious. Shout out to Keisha. Shout out to Keisha. Out to Keisha. Out to Keisha. Out to Keisha. That's a that's a hilarious yeah, word. Right. Boom, Keisha. Uh, there you go, Keisha. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I tell you. Dude, that's why I can't get those Airbnbs because my name is Devon. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I can't. Find. A little too yeah, ethnic, my friend. Oh, Gosh, Equasia, she can't go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I would love to have been in a triage with the fart lady, though. When they when she got to explain what happened, I just I just want I just want to hear her explain. There had to be an explanation. What's, you know what seems to be the problem? Why? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to the doctor. You know what what the doctor. <laughs> Hilarious. If, if I was a doctor, I would have banged the cork in her ass. That's what I'd have did. Nah. <laughs> no fun. So, <laughs> grand opening, grand closing. Yeah, they said she had to retire. <laughs> oh man, she had to retire. I will tell you. I'll tell you. But no, the Airbnb stuff, I mean, it's usually regular racism yeah, stuff. I mean, <laughs> you know, you know, it's so funny. Um, the Uber app was supposed to be like that, where you, you remember back in the day, they wouldn't take uh, yellow cabs, wouldn't take people to Harlem or Brooklyn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the Uber app was supposed to be, you couldn't, you know, you wouldn't know where the person was going until they got in and stuff like that. Because certain people, that drove Uber wouldn't turn on their their thing when they were in like black neighborhoods. Oh, because yeah, they didn't want to pick people up. Yeah. I'm not saying who they might have been. I'm just saying some people probably waited to get the Garden City and other places when they drove for Uber <laughs> and wouldn't wouldn't turn it on or something Boulevard or Guy Brewer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what a lot of people, you know, uh, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, man. I only stayed at Airbnb like once in Indianapolis. It was cool. I stayed at one. I stayed one in um Durham. It was cool too. It was cool. No. It's a good look. Yeah, yeah. I, I stayed in a few. They actually, they actually were very nice. The ones I stayed in, I didn't have any issues or anything. Like Matter of fact, I stayed in one that was fly before I even knew what Airbnb was. Um, down in Key West. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was nice. I, I, I stayed, yeah. stayed in an Airbnb upstate. Um, on the water, a cabin, and it was awesome. And we was probably the only black people there. But we didn't have no problem, not at all. Wow. 
Beautiful. Upstate New nice York cabin. is different. Nice cabin. The backyard was um really nice. Hammock, fire pit, and the backyard was the lake. I mean, this big, big, big lake. Oh, that's hot. Right. Beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. I'm still a hotel guy. I, mean, I like somebody turning down my bed and shit like that. But now, you if you stay at the Hampton Inn, they you got to tell them to, to clean your room and shit now because of COVID. Yeah, I heard. I you got to tell them that. You got to tell them that I want my room clean. And I think they yeah. offer some, <laughs> some places offer it every other day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was it running? To, I think it has to do with staff shortage too because um, I went in a hotel too and you have to like let them know that you want the room clean. If not, they sure. don't clean it because then they have to use, you know, they got to clean more rooms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, let me see what else we got here, man. Down north, Pizza Empire in Philadelphia with former incarcerated people chefing it up. Shout out to Chicken Wing. He's my uh, jail chef and his uh, prison fried rice and all those uh, prison fried nachos. So what do you guys think about, you know, this brother right here, former incarcerated, chefing it up, people giving a chance to hire former incarcerated people, man. Thoughts on that, y'all? Congratulations. Yeah, is, is, now, now is the is the, is the story he's giving preference to incarcerated people, or is it just he's giving them a chance? Because there's two different things I think at play right here. Mm. You know, um, I, I, I think I, I think it would be dope if he was giving them preference. You I think know, he, like I think that they, they, he's only hiring. Yeah. Oh, then that's beautiful. Then you know what yeah. I mean? Because for a lot of them, they would have a lot of they would really have a hard time, you know, finding finding work. You know, when they, because listen, he's in his own way. He's kind of, kind of acting the prejudice that they're gonna have, that they're gonna, um, you know, experience when they leave. You know what I mean? But to so, be fair, if I was hiring, you would have to. I would have to know what you was in for. Like I sit oh, down with you and you interview, clearly. and I say, "Hey, brother, what happened?" Oh, I choked my boss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be choking no boss up in here. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Kelvin. I kind of disagree. I probably wouldn't ask them what they were. I don't Probably. think you legally can. I don't think you can legally. I don't know if you yeah. legally can or not, but I don't think I would ask them. Debate no, I got to know. I have to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> the only thing I can see, like, I, I like the idea because I do yeah. believe in second chances. People should get second chances or whatever. Everybody's yeah. not going to work out, and I know there are going to be some people that's going to get fired. The only thing, you know, guys, I think a little different. I just want to make sure he's not underpaying them as a result of well, Rodney, I'm glad you said that. I got one that's better for you. There was a church one time, a very successful church in Brooklyn. And what mm-hmm. they would do was go to businesses and say, if you give an, a, a, a former incarcerated person an opportunity, we'll pay their salary for a year. You just hire them and we'll pay the salary. Oh, well, that's um, what the feds are doing now. That's why, that's why you see a lot of guys working at UPS that's formerly incarcerated. They get, uh, they're getting checks from the feds. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so you don't have that much liability. You know, and, and if you're a nonviolent, you know, offender or whatever like that, in some cases, I mean, I guess it depends. But, you know, obviously you got to protect your customer base, too, you know, because if you deal with the public, certain, you know, you want to put Antonio Brown on your, your hands. So like that, you just never know. But you do you do realize that you can kind of tell what they did based on the felony that they were convicted on, what what class felony they were convicted. On. You know, if it's, like a, if it's like an A felony, you know that that shit was serious. You know, compared to like a B felony or C felony. Yeah. You know and so, you know, that's I'm, that's why I say I wouldn't ask because I would kind of have an idea if I just. I met I met it. a dude Rodney who was a blood from L.A. Okay. And he was in from the time he was sixteen till he was thirty two. I know there ain't no little parking tickets. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> That sounds, like a murder. that sounds like a murder on robbery. That's what, yeah. that's what it sounds like. You know. Modi said Kelvin's acting scared. I ain't no punk. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Kelvin's acting scared. What you scared for? No, I've just been robbed too many times. Catalytic converter. Red <laughs> <laughs> machine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, my God. And I would hire the brothers, man. I mean, my job, we hire formerly incarcerated people. As you know, we got chicken wing on staff. They actually pretty much work out. It's just like um, I would just hope they have a lot of training because there's a lot of stuff that people when they come from from being in jail for so depends how many years they've been in. But most people over ten years, or whatever, they got to get to me some professional training about how the, the workplace act work work uh, the ethics and that. And I'm glad that this brother's giving a shout because a lot of guys don't they scared to put down the jobs they had in prison on their resume. Yeah. And this would give them a chance. Like if they came home, they start here. 
I worked here, did customer service, blah, 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 blah. You can go food prepping. I got my food handles license and all those kind of certifications. They'd be kind of good. But I just hope they get a lot of training on how to really deal with public. Some things, the way you handle stuff in jail, where you can say stuff to folks, that you got to be able to transition. That's some of the all my cousins that was locked up became security guards. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> yep. I thought this was a joke. You serious? No, secure. No. <laughs> you look at a lot, a lot of these security, a lot of these security guard jobs are not people's first choice. So they got to give people a shot. Yeah, and it yeah. was so funny to us. My cousin, his job was to secure the mall, the same one he used to steal from. So that was just like, wow. <laughs> Jamie said, yeah. "Many cousins you have, it has been locked up." God damn. Oh, what? <laughs> Who ain't locked up? I had a cousin been in jail since it started. You understand what I'm saying? That is the truth. He built the jail for him to go in, right? I can't front. If he come on this screen right now, we in jail. That's it. Oh shit! Oh man, that's hilarious, man. That's hilarious. But yeah, man, shout out to the brothers, man. Hope they make some. I wonder what kind of dishes they making. Like jail pizza. Well, can we you change the names instead of regular? Like, oh, this is a Sicilian. What do you call this? The, the, the shank. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the you change the name? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yo, how many yeah, slices? You, how many slices you want? Eight. You can. You can. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck, man? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, man. Before the motherfucker, before the motherfucker jump me, we cool, brother. <laughs> For the brothers, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they just would have to worry about a knife fight breaking out in the kitchen. That's the problem. <laughs> right you know? up, man. Word up, man. That's crazy, man. Oh, man, but um, the man, brothers, like, so this, what, what are your brother's New Year's resolutions coming up, man? We want, you know, we at the beginning of the top of the year, man. What do you guys got planned? Anything you, you'll see for yourselves or what you want to try to do in the comp? Mm. It's very, very interesting. I, I, I want to, I, I'm, I mine's, is, mine's has more to do with health, man. Like mental health and, you know, physical health, spiritual health, just all around holistic health. You know, I want to be healthy this year. I want to feel happy. I want to feel at ease, you know, and, and be surrounded by peace. So that's my, that's my goal. You know what I mean? So uh, everything, and, and, and I have to be, I know that, that I have to be, um, purposeful in everything that I do to, to achieve it, you know? So that's the sort of my thing. So it, it, it encompasses a bunch of things for me. So health it encompasses a bunch of things for me. Yeah. Um, I would say I, uh, much like Derek, I, I want to make sure that I'm in great shape and peak shape. Um, Cause if you don't have your health, what else you have? And right. then I own a, um, a home in North Carolina that I'd like to, I've been trying for years to uh, turn it into a veteran's home in honor of my late father. Uh, so we started a nonprofit called Welcome Home American Veterans. I wanna get it off the ground. It's a 4,200 square foot house. So I wanna fill it up with uh, veterans that are um, disabled and uh, open it in my father's name. So that's something that is a goal of mine this year. And also I wanna make sure that Let's Chop It Up comes the number one podcast anywhere. So I wanna step the game up on the show you and um, you know, do great things. So just, just try to find. I want to see what it's like to operate at the optimum level. Whatever I do, just try to be great at it. Yeah. So, yeah. Ronnie, anything for you, brother? Yeah, yeah. My, my first thing is I want to get at everybody that owes me money. That's the first thing I want to do. <laughs> um, so as soon as I finish getting my day ass revenue collection. Yeah. As as I getting at them, I'm on. I want to lose. I want to try to lose twenty pounds. Um. Mm. I also too. I want to. I want to do more reading. I want to start mm. reading. I got. I have, I have. I have this little collection of books. It's like maybe about five or six books that I have. That I have. I've never started. I never read. I never read. And I'm going to read them this year. So I'm going to do some some brain building for 2022. And like you said, I still want to do um health things. I want to get 20 pounds down. Change the way I eat even more. And um. Just take care of me, and um, so I can be here longer for my family. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Right. Yeah. yeah the, the, the thing I agree with Rod. I got a whole bunch of books. On, uh, I'm starting to get into the audio books. The first audio book I got. I, mean, we'll, I guess we'll talk about it next week. I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Um, I want to get back to. I have a lot of books I haven't I haven't read yet. So I have a ton of those. I ordered so many, and I 
every time I seen like I ordered my friend books in jail, I bought myself a book. So it's like I got a thousand books over here to read. Um, like yeah, everything, health and wealth, man. You know, and be around a lot of love, man. I just want, the, I want, I want, hell the, yeah. I just want the good vibes. Oh yeah, I don't want it to be no you negative. Go that way. Don't fuck with <laughs> me, man. I'm serious. I don't want none. I want none of that negative shit. I'm not arguing with motherfuckers in 2022. I'm not mm. doing it. You're not gonna take no years off my life arguing with you, bitch ass motherfucker. So thank you, Monique. <laughs> Shout out yeah. to Monique, man. Shout yeah, she out said, Monique. Kelvin, let me know when you're coming to North Carolina. I may be able to uh, get the Marines to help. That's what's happening, man. Absolutely. I would definitely have to connect. Thank Make you for that. that. Connect, for real. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Yeah, I know Make Monique. Sure not, I know sure Monique. Not lanes for you when you get there, Kelvin. They might jump you. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you guys this. And I want to ask you, D, because you just mentioned it. I always feel like I'm, it's almost like cheating for the audio book. Is it something different about it is. reading? Is it is it, that? Hey, hey, come my thing with the audiobooks because I was the same thing. I was like, it's something different because you wanted the pages on stuff. And you you make up the own voices of characters in your head. Right now, I was I got the Will Smith book, and I'll tell you about it next week, I guess, or whatever. I do like it because it, it's it's you also get extra sounds and stuff with it, and it's like, oh shit, I didn't think that was okay. gonna happen. So I'm kind of feeling I'm hearing it from the person's voice. So I'm actually seeing them actually do certain things. So okay, like, got you. So it's, it's a little, it's a little way. Also, I can walk around, I got my headphones on, and I'm in the car. So now, yeah, I've heard. Fifteen hours, and I can just listen to the joint in the car or on the plane, and it's a little different. So I'm like, instead of got carrying, you. and now you want to carry, you want to walk around a little lighter now, right? Instead of carrying a book in your hand and all that kind of stuff like that, it's a little different. So I'm, I'm, I'm I think I'm gonna get into these joints, man. Yeah, I'm gonna really I want to do both. It depends on the book. I'll do audio with one of the books. But I still want to read a couple because I want to do brain brain building. You know what I'm saying? As far as reading, but uh, then I think it's nice. I, I do think I think that the auto book is cheating in a, in a certain way, and I think it's more of an achievement when you actually sat down and read the book and finished it from cover to back. That's I see what you're saying, but but Sean to make a good point made a, made a yeah. good point. It looks like they're doing uh, effects and stuff like that, so that would be a good as well. It's, it's, it's dope, man. And Lisa just texted me on the side. She's like, she loves audio books too. So it's like I'm getting it. That's what I never knew it was like that. I didn't know all the stuff that like Shauna said. I was like, oh, this shit sound kind of dope. Like you can hear um like we was talking about certain scratches and stuff like that in this book with Jazzy Jeff. We all know how we love Jazzy Jeff, right? Oh, Jazzy yeah. Jeff is incredible. Exactly. Right? But when you hear it in the audio books, like, oh, it makes now you get what he's trying to feel because he's talking about yeah. certain scratches Jazz did. Like we know the Transformer scratch, all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff like that. Like a lot of if you heard if you read it, like Transformer scratch. If you well, we know in our era, but if a young cat yeah. would know what that what that means, man. So yeah, Tim said people say the same about the Kindle readers, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm cool with these audio books, man. It sounds good. I never read one, I never I listened to one, I should say, but I think I'm gonna get into it, man. Mm -hmm. it sounds um, like, something. It's like something. I'm gonna tell you this I listened to um, not the whole thing, but major majority of it. Um, 50 Cent's book is pretty deep. Yeah, yeah you, 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 use the, you use the audio book one, yeah, yeah. I got, I got the hard copy of that. Yeah, the thing is, um, I I would recommend that because um, he says some powerful stuff in there. Fifty Cent is pretty smart. No, he, listen, he's a smart guy. Yeah, yeah he, my wife rock to watch him. She says I love audio books. I, I work for hours using my hands instead of always listening. Exactly. To music. No, right, right. Play. If yeah. Yeah. Good good you did anybody that. um did anybody check out Mayweather's audio book? He is no. a wonderful. Wow, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah that wow. wasn't nice, Kelvin. You know what? It, it took me a minute. It took me a second. No, I'm, 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 I knew what he said when he was doing. Maka. You I, that, that you know, <laughs> I don't think we're ever gonna see a book from Floyd Mayweather. Nah. Yo, I, I wish I must next week, Sammy, I want you to find the meme of Floyd Mayweather when his long oh. boots on his coat on. They said he looked like a, a, a drug dealer's bitch. That shit was hilarious. Man. Yo. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. Oh man. Yo, he dressed like a drug dealer's chick, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I was wrong. I can't yeah, I can't yeah. let the enemy use me. I started yeah. off out here wrong. <laughs> I really <laughs> wouldn't want to have Floyd Mayweather's audiobook, man. No. You have to rehearse that shit, man. It'd be it'd be it's no way I want to have Floyd Mayweather's audiobook. Man. No fucking way. I couldn't do it. It would take you a Will Smith book is 15 hours. Floyd made with an audio book will probably be like 70 hours, 80 hours. Because there will be a lot of there will be a lot of interruptions because he'll keep saying, What's this word right here? <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna tell you honestly, I, I I know they always make jokes about him. Honestly, there is no excuse for being a multi-millionaire can't read. 
there's no excuse to not be able to read. But if you're a multimillionaire, you just need to be able to have somebody teach you how to read if you can't read. Well, I think that's the reason he focuses on so much about money. Yeah. Lacking, right. Lacking right. Somewhere else. He's, he's, he's focuses on money because I think he says, well, look, I'm not educated at all and I'm still successful. So he, right. it's like, right. it's like a white supremacist premise, um, harping on that he's white. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Right. Older. Right. But, uh, I don't, um, I don't but think you he, gotta just, he, know, right he just, you just gotta play. know what it would unlock in your life. You just don't want to be in, in prison like that. You know what I mean? Dexter really. Manley. Dexter Manley for the Redskins. Maybe he really? walked around walked around with a Wall Street Journal upside down, reading upside down. He didn't know how to read. Wow. Play for the Redskins. Wow. That's right. Remember that. Right. Remember right. Dexter Manley, man. Wow. There's a lot of cats that can't read that made money, man. Yeah. Like Lisa, Lisa <laughs> text me aside, said somebody will have to read him the book. <laughs> so you gotta be the audio books. Imagine somebody in the background saying, Oh McDonald, oh McDonald. <laughs> Yo, we had a kid in class like that. You know how we used to have to fly out and they go around? We had this one kid named Lamont. And I'm talking about it got to his point where they had the uh paragraph, and my man just eyes started well enough. Everybody look, my man just started crying. Yo, you know, it was, we was in sixth grade too, by the way. At that point, you're supposed Yo, to be able to knock them paragraphs listen, out. Listen, listen, my Kelvin. sister and my niece teach now still going on right now, bro. Bad. Yo, Kelvin, when Lamont mm -hmm. got up to read and he didn't couldn't do it, did you say you big dummy? <laughs> <laughs> I got a cousin named Lamont. Yeah. Yo, if they'd have thought of that back then, they would have. Man, yeah, I'm glad yeah, you nah. was in class, bro. They, yo, kid, I love kids are the best, man. Kids crack the best jokes, man. Because we we realize, yo, some people just wasn't good reading out loud. My man just couldn't start. That was it. And you know what's coming to you? It's twenty kids in the class. You know you sitting somewhere in there. You gonna get it. That's is it. You should have ran to the bathroom. Should have ran to the bathroom. Matter of fact, I got a shit. <laughs> Where I'd have been out. Um, Spell so, shit. If that's some spell shit, you know, fucked up. Oh, you can't man. go to your spell shit. Oh, man. <laughs> but now, but yo, this man, thank you guys for being along with us tonight, man. With the fellas, with the brothers, man. It's our first show for the 2022. We will still be bringing you more guests. We will still bring you more information and stuff like that. If you have topics, please let us know. We'd love to chop on, chop it up about them, man. We love that you all chime in. Shout out to everyone that comment tonight and comment later on and tell a friend to tell a friend about our show. We love you all. Peace, peace, and peace.